I've lost the pulse. I've lost the pulse okay. now. There's an old adage in medicine. See one, do one, teach one. Kumi, you're taking the airway. I've got the airway. Natasha giving the cardiac arrest drugs. For years, that was how medics learnt. On the job. Can someone make sure the parents are aware? You would watch somebody else do a procedure. Um, then you'd have somebody watch you do a procedure. And before you knew it, you were teaching somebody else to do the same thing. It's very scary for the doctor and no less so, of course, for, for the patient. But now, simulation exercises like this one are taking the risk out of medical training. These days, real patients no longer have to be the guinea pigs. Please help me, Dr Jarvis. Meet Simman, Harefield Hospital 64,000 pounds simulated patient. But he's no dummy. He can talk, go into shock or cardiac arrest, respond to drugs, and, if he's not treated correctly, die. Attack. Yes, I'm afraid so, but we're trying to we're trying to abort it for you, okay? Simman allows medical teams to put their skills to the test in a variety of emergency situations. Hi, switchboard. It's Ken. Okay. Cardiac arrest in Angio room four. Cardiac arrest, Angio room four. Continue, okay. continue CPR. Okay. For if me. you carry on compressions, charging at 150, oxygen away. Stand clear. Shocking. He can do almost anything a real person can do. You can listen to his chest, you can give him medication. For example, should you give him adrenaline, his heart rate will increase, his blood pressure will increase. Um, and really, the authenticity is as good as uh, lifelike. Oh, that feels much better. A fellow doctor orchestrates the session. He can manipulate the way Simman responds. He can be Simman's voice. It might make you cough a little bit. And throw in unexpected challenges. You can change his heart rate, you can change his heart rhythm. He, he really is incredibly, almost sometimes frighteningly lifelike. Hello? Specialists here at the Royal Brompton Hospital in West London have gone one step further. OK, low blood pressure? Yeah, I'll come straight away. This is the very first time they've revealed Harley. He's a prototype five-year-old child whose torso actually has the skin texture cardiac anatomy and blood flow of a real human being. And he's in danger of heart failure. I think this child is in emergency. He might crash very okay. soon. I think we need to call the surgeon. Remember, this is only a dummy and just the training exercise. Yes, I'll give the drugs and get such. OK. On a scale of 1 to 10, just how big a procedure is this? This is uh, it's scale 10. This is the biggest emergency you can imagine. The patient is actually dying when we walk into the room, so there's a, a minute or two during which you can either save a life or lose a life. Can you really get that sort of urgency, that sense of urgency with a simulation? You, you do get it when you walk into the room and you see all this agitation and the monitor showing you the pressures exactly as it would, would be in the real situation. And when you see people doing a cardiac massage, it, it really uh, kicks your heart into a big stress. It's just like when airline pilots go in their simulators and practice what, the, what it's like when the plane is crashing, that doesn't happen very often. This doesn't happen very often. You may not see it until the first time and then you don't know what to do. The new training dummy was created by TV special effects artist Max Campbell, who honed his skills on series like Casualty and Holby City. We've actually engineered a sliding sternum uh, so that it, it's very realistic. It, it, it's, it's, it's as it would be in a real life scenario. And, and then the it's heart. got the heart inside, exactly. And Harley's the only one in the world? Harley's the only yes. Only the, the only one of these in the world, yeah. The ultimate special effect. Yeah. Amazing dummies that help save very real human lives. And the good news is that back at Harefield, Simman is feeling fine. I thought the one show would like to know I'm making a full recovery. I'm just going to have a little nap now. Good night.